Stadium. He has more on the city's welcome. 11. Well, I'll tell you what, Steve, you know, one thing that goes along with all the Patriots' success is that you get a chance to cover their Super Bowl cities. So you get a chance to explore, see what it's all about. So here we go, Atlanta, Georgia. I always come back to Georgia. Well, here's your Atlanta, Georgia introduction. And there's reasons why the locals like Anthony love this place. Only 40% of the people in Atlanta are from Atlanta. So you have a collection of people from around the world, and I like to think that they all bought the best of themselves with them. It's the birthplace of Coca-Cola and home to a fantastic aquarium. Also, CNN is here. This is CNN. I always wanted to do that. Centennial Olympic Park will be where a ton of the Super Bowl activities will take place. And you can't miss it because the Super Bowl signage is well represented. All this walking may make you hungry, and that's when you might, depending on your digestive tract, want to hit up the varsity. Favorite for chili dogs and hamburgers since 1928. This is where you need to come, the ATL, and get the good chili slot on. I drove from Birmingham one night because I wanted a varsity cheeseburger. It's wonderful. And then finally, you have to come by Radio Row. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. Voices from all across the world, including my friend Gary from Australia who has one Super Bowl week wish. Have a beer with Gronkowski. Me and Rob, a beer at a bar, late at night, that'll be about as good as it gets. Okay. Hey, Steve, you remember when we were in Minnesota last year, I had to wear these warm hats to try to keep warm. Well, I've turned that hat in for a varsity lit. That's how it works now. Back to you. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Why would you ever do that? All right, Levin, thank you. Well,